wedges. Reginald, get to work. No, don't wanna. No. I'm cleaning out my wedges. Like Eminem's closet. Cleaning out my wedges. Don't think we might need to replace that circular spawn. It's got lots of information on it though that we went to copy off, so mm. getting rid of it would be a last thing I would have thought we'd do last because the amount of information that's on it, it would be easy to copy it. You know that tower, yeah? You could actually put docking ports on it. Mm -hmm. Couple. I was, I was thinking putting platforms off the side. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And now you're obligated to make space helicopters for it. <laughs> no, because because Starforge just added that as a feature. <laughs> Can't copy from other games, girl. Yeah. Like. Like spaceships, man. X Microsoft X Plane did it first. Everyone's just copying it. I don't know. It's probably not the first one. To be fair, I'm just messing about. Camino Shamashir, and he's on the internet, so it must be true. You know, Sharma said everyone's copying game show. We have to shoot everyone. <laughs> and we believe him because he's to me, you know, Sharma, and we're a fan fanatic. Oh, don't, don't hate him, man. Don't be the adoring fan or you'll get shot off the highest cliff. Uh, it's fine. Followers, man. Followers are awesome, but the thing is, they're not like fans like Justin Bieber has fans. They're just normal people who happen to be chilling out and watching the video, you know? Nah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I reckon. They follow because they're entertained, I'd hope. Or, I don't know. It wasn't like that when the first Yogg's Wave came along. Ugh. Uh, he was like, I'm a fan of your work. I watch all your videos. I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't get any people like that. It's because I'm not a real celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, it sounds like that would be really harsh to deal with, you know? Funny, I'm turning. I'm getting. I'm taking off. I'm unwedging it. I'm unwedging it. You're unwedging it now. I'm unwedging the tower because all the wedges are pointing the wrong way anyway. Now. Why? Why do you do this? Because only one side was right. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I could do that anyway.
Me, Tom. Me. 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 It's a me. So there's your floor plan. Oh my god, Mushroom Fleet, please write on my moobs, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? Please, sh please shave a mushroom into my neck beard. Oh. <laughs> I love it. That's That was brilliant. Please write on my moobs. It wants the entire Mushroom Fleet to do that. Okay. Do you know, I think we actually, um, we actually rated Cowboy Bebop four out of, no, five out of five moobs. In the video, I did a video review on another channel a long time ago with a buddy. Input Sine Wave, the guy that did the music for the first year of Mushroom Fleet. Um, I actually, <laughs> it's really funny. We were reviewing Cowboy Bebop, and uh, basically there was this whole bit about this soldier who'd been experimented on, and he was the only one that survived this battle royale scenario. Super Soldier Serum, right? But then they all got read. But then they all got washed out because the side effect was they all started growing breasts. <laughs> yeah, because the side effect of the super serum, although the super serum worked, it made me it turned me into a woman. And I'm just like, whoa! Is this a cartoon? This is a bit. This is getting a bit borderline. Um, <laughs> for kids, you know what I mean? If it's for kids, is that for kids? And so my mate, when he rated it, he was like, I'll give this. Did he say two out of two or did he say five out of five? I don't remember what he said, but it, the, the score was out of moves, moves. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that's an episode from Cowboy Bebop. Spike has to go and meet this woman, blonde woman, and she turns out to be a dude. A dude who was in the military. Who knew about Metal Durr? Metal Durr. Turns out it wasn't a chick at all. It was Liquid Ocelot. Liquid Ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to watch out because in Metal Gear 5, Sons of the Patriots, Metal Liquid Big Boss. <laughs> Oh my god. Liquid boss. No, I don't know what it's going to be in Metal Gear Solid 5, I'll be honest. going to be big. big. It wouldn't dude. surprise me though, because literally you shot this one guy clean in the head. And he just gets brought back to life by bots, nanobots or something. Yeah, but isn't that like futuristic tech or something? Yeah, it is. He's got jacked up, overpowered, illegal nanobots in his bloodstream and they like <laughs> instantly repaired his brain even though he got shot in the, directly in the middle of the forehead like that means there's no brain because it all gets exploded out the back so basically he did actually die and a new person took over <laughs> he did actually, oh no this that was Vamp, Vamp, Vamp or something, his name's Vamp I know yeah. I'm just saying, if it, all his brains are gone and then new brains are put back in place, is that then still him? basically that. I think that would be a new person. <laughs> it would with the be same a new memories. person, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's mad, though. I'm liking the garden that you're putting in, by the way. Huh. Should, should we get some. And then I start doodling a pattern. Should we. Should we, we should probably get some trees, but I'm thinking we should put in some functional stuff now, like. Um, Oh my god, what the heck is this? It's me being funky with symmetry. So what's this? Black glass. Black, yeah. Uh, black crystal armor. Ah, shit. One thing at a time, big boss. Yeah, oh, you had a picture. thing for uh, Metal Gear Meta, Cowboy Bebops. No, you had a thing for Cowboy Bebop, and I had a thing for Outlaw Star. Oh, I got that as well, mate. That was awesome too. I've got most of them. I was going to do an anime review channel, but I just never really got round to it. You know, well, I did start, but then I stopped. 
So it's just an anime referral like recommendation site now. And I don't think anyone even uses it. Uh... Love how you got all these things and no one even uses it. Yeah, it's true. It's because I'm like, oh, I could do that. That'd be fun. And then no one gives a crap. And you're like, oh, I'll keep doing it for a while. And then you just sort of get bored of it and move on to the next thing. Uh... But if there's people involved, then I keep doing it. I'd say it's a pretty fair deal though, you know, when you think about it. If no one's watching it, then what's the point? Unless it's serving another purpose. Like liquid. Liquid. I tried to make it a little bit asymmetrical for all the haters. Ew, this is not symmetrical, because cause it's all asymmetrical. Well, it is actually uh, symmetrical, uh, except for in, like, a few places. Makes no sense as to why. Yeah. Well, actually... <laughs> yeah. It must be liquid. Liquid, duh. Liquid, duh. Liquid, huh? <laughs> liquid, her. <laughs> 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 There's not enough durs in this her. That's why I put liquid in the her. <laughs> right, load. All tile three. in the liquid There's not enough her in this der her. Not enough her in the liquid dirt. Ah, man, pick his nerve. Well, I'm just going around looking for. Anything that I might have left open. Ah, the floors, of course. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh. <laughs> to me, no. <laughs> <laughs>
Big boss. How did they know? <laughs> Hey Minecraft, how's that city you were started at the same time as us coming on? <laughs> oh. I just completed my first little heart. <laughs> yeah, about that hurt. <laughs> Now I'm gonna world edit into the new place and it's really laggy you should world edit but at least it makes it faster. <laughs> world edit. Huh. Huh. We should surround these buildings with grass, man, where there's no path. Just use grass, you know. This is going astoundingly well. Be because we have the power of the hots. Yo, the hots. I just noticed one of these buildings is not aligned correctly. No, just make it, make it aligned correctly. By one block. One block. <sighs> and... That's alright, we can fix it, fix it. Holy crap, you've done a lot to the detailing. Jesus, Von Doom. <sighs> that looks impressive. This is only the beginning. Oh. Have done anything? <laughs> and that was just the tutorial. Hang on, let me change those wedges for you. Grey advanced wedges, I think they were. Yeah, they were. I think I got them all. In three, and dude, I got them all in three clicks. Mm. I'm gonna go for the ones inside now. You see water in the buildings? Well, call us on our hotline now and we'll fix it. For an extra uh, some pounds. We 
will charge money. <laughs> Isn't that a great deal? Yeah. Yeah, I think I solved the wedge issue. Yeah. The wedgie shoe. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, that looks much nicer the way you finished it off. Try changing some of the, um... Oh, wait, what? You playing this legit or are you spawning in stuff? Okay, John Cat. Uh, this is Mushroom Fleet. Thanks for joining. Basically, we run the server, um, and the old spawn station looks like this, and contains information, such as, you know, stuff and things. And there's all kinds of stuff here, and we thought we'd jazz it up for the new generation because we're doing a server reset soon. Oh look, a jump drive ship. A scanner. Nice. And so this is what we've, we've been doing. We've uh, brought in this beastie. And we've just been building it up slowly, really. Um, used copy-paste from our uh, selection of stuff. We actually converted in a city, but we're not using that. We're using pieces of it. So that's gone. There's very little here from that now. And uh, yeah, we're planning on putting uh, NPCs in here and stuff like that. There's going to be a dock and a factory and all that business. Stuff for noobs. But yeah, I think your idea of having docks coming off this tower is actually a really good idea. Well, anyone would have suggested it. <laughs> yeah. The question is, do I put them one off each level and just have them all coming off one side? Yeah. Yeah, that does make the most amount of sense. Because then these are hangers, aren't they? Hmm. Yep. Here we go. So straight away, these are hangers. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Nar Shaddaa on Star Wars. For some reason. What, the little ship? No, the tower. Oh, the right. Sort of thing. Probably because I recently played Star Wars Your Republic 2. Oh. No, it's the Old Republic, not the MMO. Screw that thing. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very nice. Nice, mate. Very nice. Noise, Tom. Oh. Oh. What's your dog's name, dude? Hmm? What's your dog's name? Charlie. Charlie. Has he bit his finger? Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> he bite your finger. And then he started barking at me. Yeah. 
before she's a troll. Your dog's a troll. <laughs> Trolling me. 